level, man. Oh, Lord. God, you have to so win so wild. many to get your, your gems back. This is just bananas. You got to do competitive draft, right? Because with that one, you get it back if you just win like four. Mm. And then you start making a profit on gems if you hit five. And if you win at all, you get a pack, or you get a pack per win anyway. Right. So it's it's a pretty good example, or a pretty good a uh, pretty good rate. This is uh yeah, kind of kind of kind of boring, kind of boring <laughs> level. Not gonna lie. Hmm. It's M nineteen. <laughs> it's it's not the most exciting format. True. Exploration is just basically like, hey, play a turn faster. Yeah, let's get through this quicker. <laughs> Still not first. Cannot win that coin flip. We just it's just not meant to be, man. Yeah. Congrats, eight nine eight zero Gary. Wow. Uh, I mean, do we just make the world's beefiest bird? <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Millstone. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Scrap. I'm a bird. <laughs> yeah man didn't you know that Selesny is built for mill <laughs> built to mill is my favorite <laughs> built to spill cover band <laughs> <laughs> they just do magic themed covers <laughs> Now I've got to look up some built to spill songs so I can <laughs> see what that would be like. Uh, I think we get another th we can. Say that one more time. I, I was saying I think we play out some forest, but we get out our gallant cavalry just to have more threats compared to... I, I don't know. We can always open farm later. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I want to make sure that we have redundancy on the compared to mm -hmm. just investing very heavily in this falcon as much as i want him to feel like we believe in him and trust him <laughs> he's a good bird yeah but at the same time having two five fives is probably better than having one giant bird <laughs> and because he's in uh selesnia colors most of his removal is going to be Tap. Take Vengeance or Plummet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we dodge Take Vengeance with the Vigilant Knights. Yeah. Very so true. you'd have to Luminous Bonzas or Rabbit Binders. Bold move. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it pays off for him, Cotton. Yeah, so I think next turn we probably just double Oaken form our cavalry. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and then gonna, swing in with the team. I'm going to make sure it doesn't get all screwy. Yep. Do one on each? Yep. Because that way we're looking at two five fives compared to, you know. Mm hmm. Sure. That's fine. Get sixth. Wow. He did not have a Tom to tell you what to cut. Oh, Jesus, we play that Valiant Knight. <laughs> it gets I set. mean, in fairness, he probably did have a Tom. I mean, you don't need a Tom. We're bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gary. I, I think he knows what he's doing. 
The only thing is now he's got to deal with the fact that we're going to have two six sixes with double strike. Yeah. Yeah, he's just... He's toast. That, I'm sorry, that's just not going to do it. <laughs> Shield Mare, good card. Not good enough. Yep. Because right now he needs another blocker. Yep, he's done. <laughs> good game, my dude. Or 8980 Gary. Mm. And we get a Druid of Horns. Fitting. Yeah. And uh, should we open our pack? Nah, we'll save that for the end. Fair enough. <laughs> Ready. To Scion. Born in 1925. That's definitely what that means. Yep. Our last opponent was born in 8980. He's from the future. God, yes. I'm, I'm going to do it. I, I mean... Can, I can give my bird flying. I mean, it's pretty th threat light, but whatever. I mean, if we get anything, it, we'll, we should be able to play it. See? Hey! I gotta answer his bird. Oh, Jesus. Scrum. So, that's not ideal. <laughs> eh. Though it's white-blue, not white-black, so I'm not as nervous right. about it. Fair enough. It's a good look. Right. And luckily, good Teferi was in Dominaria, not in M19. Mm-hmm. Gonna keep hiding the green. Uh, do we Pegasus or Gallant Cavalry? Ooh. I... Um. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Get more bodies. We've got... We've got vigilant people that can sneak through his. Yep. The vigilant people. The vigilant people. Ah. <laughs> That was a great Marilyn Manson cover. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. I've been practicing it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Hello, wall of mist. You're We're going to fly over you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, we were green all along. <laughs> all right, Pegasus Courser and Swift Claw, I guess. Yep. And I feel like I should just send my vigils to, uh, to just attack take... in. Yeah, if he blocks, he blocks. Right. We kill a bird if he blocks. Yep. Yeah, might as well send the if bird. If not, then. we'll get him for two. No, keep the bird. But oh no, I guess you can because we have the Pegasus now. Yep. Oh, eh. Fair enough. That's fine. I'm glad you spent that now, actually. Right. Like, we got no... We didn't lose anything because of that. I know, right? That was interesting. Mm. He avoided five to do that? Doesn't seem great. No, no it doesn't. That's not great. He hits us for one. And then we get more people in if that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is not our biggest threat by any stretch. Double wall of mist, huh? Um. So I rabbit bite. I think we swing in. Potentially, we inspiredly charge, and then we bite one of his walls to death. I, that is, the... I do like that. I do like that. Let's see what he does. That is a, yeah. No, that's a sorcery, my dude. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying we inspired charge, which would save anything if he blocks. Mm. Like, if he blocks the swift claw, we just inspired charge. Or we inspired charge through it anyway, and then we use the rabid bite to bite the other wall to death. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we just wipe the board. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do I do that now? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, yeah. Might as well. Get it out of the way. It's annoying. 
I mean, that's probably not their biggest threat, but sure. still. Watch as he plays something huge, and we're like, oh, what a mistake. <laughs> this is fine. What the fuck? Okay. Haha. -ha. Welcome him back. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't no, we just, just keep waiting. Yep. Now we're just playing top deck. Okay. You played that. That's I have fine. to imagine he drafted a Johnny's Pride Mates with right. all this life gain. Like, yeah, he's got to have one of them in there, right? This has been a weird, weird draft. Mm-hmm. Do we just start swinging in with the swift? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn uh, it. Play it out. Eh, there's no... There's, there, I think it's better to just hold it back to show a card in hand than to actually play it at this point. Doesn't do anything for us. I guess. This is so weird. We just stalled out. That's the problem. I know. If we could draw fewer lands, that would be great. Absolutely. Do we drop a land, maybe? I don't I don't think we can at this point. Can we edit our deck? No, you can edit your deck. Mm. Oh, do that. Talons of Wildwood, onto the Oresco, Swift Claw, and Colossal Majesty, so we start drawing more. Absolutely. Unless he counters it. Right. But in that case, we just pay three and get it back. Right. Keep on renewing. Mm-hmm. Surprised he hasn't he didn't swing in with the frilled serpent last turn. Yeah. I guess he played the line breaker and mm -hmm. didn't have enough mana to make him unblockable. So we could have just theoretically blocked a bunch of stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah, so let's do this. Give me that ooh. Luminous bond. Yes, so good. So good. So we luminously bond his frilled serpent. Absolutely. All right. He was holding up a counter. Uh, fuck. Eh. That's fine. Yep, it happens. What you gonna do? Point is that he was below 20 at one point. Mm-hmm. Actually, was he? Yeah. Oh, he got we some damage, in, and then he shield mared, and then um, Fountain of Renewal got him back above. Yes. Oh, shit, yes. That's very nice. Surely he doesn't have another counter. I mean, he probably does. But or still. I mean, we can't really play around it at all. Yeah. The question is, I think we just leave it? Or no, we attack him with the bird, the rustling well, falcon. Yeah, and okay, so let's see here. So we definitely attack with the rustling falcon. Mm hmm. I don't think we attack with anyone else. You don't? 
I mean, the thing is, he just eats he takes at least one of them. The frilled sea serpent eats somebody. Right. The only person we definitely can't attack in with is... Swift Claw. Uh, Swift Claw, yeah. Right. I mean, we could attack in with the other two three threes and just see what happens. Yeah. I think this is better to just hold up a... a, a board. Yep. Now we can attack with Angel of Dawn. Just keep on chipping. Mm -hmm. Oh, our old Tusky, Tusky boy. boy. <laughs> What's the bet? He tosses the unblockable thing. That would not. That would not be surprising. That would be very funny to me. <laughs> Grand irony of things. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. If we could just start drawing some of our pants. Give me pants. Not That's pants. That's a land. That's a boar. <laughs> Somebody referenced the, uh, uh, it's like the Bart. I can't remember what, who the YouTube channel is, but it's like the, the greatest thing about Hero Quest video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, this is awful. This is a gargoyle. <laughs> this is a boar. All right. Let's uh, attack in with an angel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the rust wing, too. Just, you know. Just... He might not block just because he's afraid of it. Well, I mean, he might block the angel because it's bigger. Right. Or block neither. That's cool, mm -hmm. too. I'm on board. Bird board. Got such a good board. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, he Piss. Drafted, he drafted two dwindles. <laughs> Christ. This is what's wrong with our country. Mm-hmm. Is he gonna make he can't make it unblockable? Right? Yep. He's one short. Because he dwindled me. Yep. Do we toss a boar and a knight in front of it? Well, I was thinking about chumping the one of these guys with my swift claw. Right. I'm I'm on board with that. I was thinking we'd probably toss the boar and the a knight token in front of the sea serpent. Mm-hmm. And then that guy just gets in front of the tusky boy. Mm-hmm. Feel good about that. He's got a pump spell. He has a pump spell. Yep. And yep. Sad, but whatever. But I mean, he's playing white blue, so. The amount of pumps is less. Yeah, it'd basically be the plus two, plus two jump. Right. So there it is. Our knight survived? Yeah, he killed the uh, big boy. Oh, that's right, because it's a 4-3. Yep. That was my bad. I was thinking of the wrong stuff. That's That's okay. That's fine. This is the weirdest game. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only downside to that Colossal Majesty is we are going to, like, we're going to deck faster than he is. Yeah, we're at 14 cards. Uh, I don't think I attack. Nope. I can block Tusky with my Angel of Dawn. Yep. That should mean, let's see, we've got five, six, seven. We've got, like, all of our land right now. Yeah, we've, we had 17 land. Mm -hmm. so six. And we're at 11, 12, 13 right now, yeah, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, the majority of what's left is gas. Mm-hmm. So that's good. So in that case, we just start putting it on whatever we can. Right, because... So we'll Probably have... on the bird. Yeah. <laughs> which is hilarious to me. That is probably the best thing he could have done. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll just get it back in my hand. With yep. all this m mana that I have. Might as well. Might as well. He throws I mean, it stops us from drawing a card this turn. But, I mean, we're at 14 sucks, cards. Yeah. In a, yeah. It's fine. 
Yep, so I guess in that case, we probably just put it on the Rustwing Falcon and go from there. Yep, go for faith. Well, yeah, because we don't, probably don't need the extra draw now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is funny to me because neither of us has a good board. Mm. That's that's not a good. Bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. And we can afford to play like everything we have out right now, which is pretty nice. Mm-hmm. So we Arescos. Oh. Let's play Swift Call first. Um, yep. And then Talon's on our big knight. Our 3-4. So that... Of, I get, yeah, yeah. Or do we put him on that and then we just hope to get an 8-8 eight, eight damage out of it? Put him on our uh, gallant cavalry, like the actual proper knight. Why, why that as opposed to the token? Because I don't think he's going to... Like, if he has removal, it's going to be bounce. Mm -hmm. And so putting it on the knight just means we get another token. Mm, good call. As compared to putting it on the token, which just gets rid of the token. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I don't... I could have tapped better, but... That's fine. I think we just leave it for now. Uh, we don't attack yet because we don't have up the stuff to make it double strike with the knights. We can attack him with the falcon, but... Yeah, yeah. We're going to draw two cards to next. Yep. Oh, gosh. Is he playing a mill deck? <laughs> That's fine. Now we just start attacking him with knights. Yep. And double striking him. Feels good. Okay. Come on, pants. Oh, that's fine. That is that is good. That is good. 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 Okay. Yep. Because now we just start tapping down that tusk. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's swing in with knights. So I'm not gonna use my valiant knight because, you know. He could double block a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's not great. Mm -hmm. Do we even want to attack this turn? Because we'd knock... This is tough. I, I, I think, I, I, think I, I do this. Yeah, and then we just double strike everything and we pray for rain. Well, I, just see what he, <laughs> I just see what he does with yep. this. Okay, so that's going to die. Okay. So he's double... That's fine. We just hit him out with the double strike. Yeah. And they die. Okay. It kills... Yeah. We get rid of one bird, both of those guys, and our knight dies against the tusk. Yeah. But that is fine. Yep. That is fine. Yeah. Now we've cleared the way for our bird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we can on still you, put... my dude. Yep, and we can keep putting pants on the cavalry if we want to. Mm-hmm. Which I think is probably how we want to play this. Yeah. Is just cavalry and uh him and we can attack with the star crown stag and tap down the tusk anyway oh god damn this is beautiful yep that's a very nice draw <laughs> so now i just have to beat him in eight turns so let's see here let me attack first because i don't want to fuck up and tap things wrong yeah okay that makes sense okay in that case, do we attack in with the knight as well? The our valiant knight? And just tap something. Because we're tapping down the knight of the tusk. Yeah. And that so that means that he could kill the swift claw. He could throw the swift claw in front of it. Yeah. But, but that's if, but I think that's okay. Yeah. Let's just, oh, attack with the Rustwing Falcon too. Sure. It's one damage, but it's it makes everything it's it's when we got like four turns, it yep. makes a difference. Yep. 
Okay. So can we tap down the Knight of the Tusk? Unless... Yeah, that's what we do. Please stop mousing over them. You're making me very... <laughs> hey! Hey, Zen. Um, oh, move the blockers, I guess. Or do we... Yeah, let's let's go to blockers. All right, so that's yeah, he's gonna do that. That's fine. We lose our guy, but by the next turn, we have enough that it shouldn't be a big issue. Everyone gets double strike. Mm -hmm. Except the bird. Well, everyone, two people. That's fine. We trample over for an additional couple of points. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I not get the double strike damage out of that? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. There it is. Okay, okay then Gallant Cavalry. Yep. Oh I'm currently God. feeling very good about our first round first pick. <laughs> I need some tunes. What kind of tunes? Do we have a viewer? We have a... Uh, so my buddy Zen is uh, rating us. Ah, uh, Are we doing very badly? <laughs> we got there! We got there, yay! Can't beat the Tusky boy. <laughs> well, um, you can. Copyrighted music. <clears throat> All right, I'll be right back. All One right. sec. I'm going to keep on going. Are now non -GMO project verified. Because of my insightful shout out? That was an insightful shout out. Yo. It was, wasn't it? But we did it because it feels right. Where are you? I'm in. So supposedly this is non copyrighted. Oh, let's see what Zen gave us. Milk. Opposite of milk. Expensive eggs. Pie. Chicken. There we go. Oh, I don't like this. I'm mulliganing it. Tom can't stop me. So what's up, Zen? Uh... Zen's crew, how are you guys doing? Nice. <laughs> All right, enjoy that pizza, my dude. Oh, definitely, I'll be at BGG Con this year. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit. Just let it go there. <laughs> yeah, we have to find another copy of the ICP deck building game. And then it's on. Uh, Chris Rollins was the one who owned it last time, so he, uh, <laughs> he, he brought that out, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was good times. Oh, man. <laughs> it really should. It should be, like, a permanent part of the collection. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna put out the slip claw. Call it a day. Uh, 
Oh, he's going in a zoo. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, Zen. To, uh, I'm gonna let that one go through. You can have this one. Haven't uh, haven't touched digital MTG since first duels. Uh, this is pretty great. I really enjoy it. Um, I played the like duels of the planeswalkers, and I played magic duels on like iPhone and stuff. And I uh, it was all right. It was fine, but. Uh, this really feels like magic. Um, I even tried playing MTGO, and I just can't get behind the the format of it. It's just it's just too old. <laughs> uh, it's just outdated in the, its format, so I just can't get behind it. All right, I'm not gonna get any any attacks in here. Oh man, why you do that? This might be a bad one, guys. This looks real bad. Ugh, ugh. No, cow you, because he's all tapped out, and I wait because maybe I can do some shenanigans. Uh, no EDH. Um, there was, they kind of like go in and out of formats. So they did uh, Singleton for a while. They haven't done Brawl yet though. Supposedly it's coming up. Um, they, they don't have any cards that are past, um, what would we, I guess, Kaladesh, Aether, Revolt. Oh golly, this, this, this lucky guy, huh? Um, but yeah, so they've kind of done these like kind of janky, janky formats that are just like one and done deals. Um, but they haven't, nothing's really stuck. So basically, you're stuck with like draft and constructed, just sand, standard ones. Alright, so let's see if I can catch him. With an inspired charge. Resolve that. The problem is that somebody's gonna become a plus two plus zero after I do this, but I feel like I kind of have to do this. Yeah, I feel like that nothing could be done there. Gotta put these out. Put some more bodies out there. And unfortunately, he's gonna... He's got that sky scanner that is gonna run rampant on me. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, okay. I mean, 
That's gonna happen. Right there. Between computers, yeah. I'm hoping that eventually it's gonna be on like iOS, cause I mean, you see the how it's set up. It's made for like a touchscreen, so it's gonna happen. Ugh, this is rough. Nothing could be done. You're lost without me, Chris. I really am. <laughs> I tried, Tom. I really tried. It's all good. Mono I'm White was too strong. <laughs> Were yeah, you... <laughs> Were that guy you... looked like he had a great deck. Yeah. Fair play to him. I mean, he got a new Johnny. He just kept pumping it. Nothing could be done. Mm hmm. He rocked his Amadeus. So, so since you've been gone, I've got I've upped our stream. We've mm -hmm. got music now. We've got people chatting. It's pretty great. That's awesome. Hello, chat. This is Tom. I also do this stream. <laughs> Tom is one third of of the Dog and Thimble crew. Which actually, really, it's going to be more of one fourth. I haven't told you guys, but I talked to um, that person that we were talking to about doing more content. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, yeah, I think I think you know, even though we kind of kind of fell and fell down on our um, conversations, I think we got it back up, and it's it's going to happen. Awesome, that'll be exciting. Kagi twenty two sixty six says hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? Oh, oh my, oh Tom, this is real bad. We got the same guy again. No. Yeah, my dude. How? Eh slash eh. How does that even happen? I don't know. This this feels real bad. That's bad matchmaking. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, um, I think we want to get the Pegasus Courser out so we can just start. Um, I, I think you are correct. That's fine. I'm happy with him spending a turn doing that. No, don't. You don't think so? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so just because next turn we're going to swing in for four or five with them if we play the Angel of Dawn. Yeah. And that means that we're hitting him back for more. We still have vigilance and we can take him <laughs> a turn after hitting him for more. All right. That's just my thought. That's fair. We'll let him have it this one. Also, I kind of feel like it was a trap. Like, he probably had, like, a jump or something. I, I don't know that for sure. I feel like the thorn Thornhide Wolves are... Well, I could Vigil. Uh, but at the same time, the Thornhide Wolves do give us a blocker so that we stop caring about him. Yeah. And we can just swing in for the four damage anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been blinded and by the... becomes an even better... Angel of the Dawn next turn. Yeah, I would agree. Sure. Whatever. Go for it. Have your life. Just live your life. Hey. Does not fit with... Oh. Pff. 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 Okay. So it, it sucks, but... Do I trade it? Probably. Possibly? It feels... Oh, God, this... This dude... Yeah, that's, this guy's got a... Good, good deck. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Ooh. Ooh. That feels good. That does. I mean... He's still gonna be hitting his back for five a turn, but... But do I... Hmm. Do I do the Angel of Dawn now so that he can't kill my guys? And then swing through. Unless. Unless. I Inspiring Charge. 
attack him, see what he does, and then potentially inspiring charge. If he doesn't do anything, we just stone star crown stag. Yeah. And play a talons of wildwood. Yeah, yeah. That seems good. You got got, son. And you knew we had that, sir. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he saw it last game if it's the same dude. Oh, true. True, true. Um, I think I put it on uh, Pegasi. Okay. God, the 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 mirror is just uncanny. It's mm -hmm. wild. Um. So if I play up my Dawn, he's got a five, a big old beater. Mm -hmm. But I'm putting out seven damage this turn and still have vigilance. Yep. Mm hmm. It seems good. That does. Yeah, that, that feels good. Mm hmm. Because we take five, we don't particularly care. Mm hmm. And, like, at this point. And then we just swing back potentially and win next turn if he, he doesn't play a flyer. Oh, or he does that. No, that's fine. So he attacks with his stag. He blocks my Angel of Dawn. No, he blocks mm -hmm. my Swift Claw. Oh. Well, I take that all day, right? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, I would have thought he would have done the Swift Claw so that that way I don't... Yeah, you can't just do the same thing again and again. Yeah. Um, well, I'll pack in. And... I think I put the stag out. Mm-hmm. So fun thing uh, for those that don't... Hey, we hey. did it! Uh, so fun fact for those that are new to the Dong and Thimble brand, uh, Tom is actually British, as you can tell from his thick accent. Yeah, you totally can hear that. It's something anyone listening to me would guess. <laughs> like, what is the deal? Like, oh, hey, Tom, we made our money back. Nice. I, are we actually going to make it? I'm, I jinxed possible. us. We're going to lose this next game, but... Yep, knock on wood. Yeah. Anyway, so what's the deal? Oh, so, yeah, what, so were you, like, born there, or and you just, like, moved early, or...? Yeah, I was born there, and I lived there for four years until I was four. Did and then you, I moved. Did you have any sort of accent for those first four years? Uh, yeah, I actually had an accent that I still have when I talk in my sleep. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> so Alana it's... was quite afraid the first time it happened because uh, it's like an entirely different person. It's like, hello, Pip Pip. No, that's that's more of a Cockney accent. Have you ever seen the movie Brassed Off? No. Okay, well, you need to go and watch that movie because set in the Yorkshire coal mines. Okay. Oh, that was a keep. I I wanted to live dangerously, Tom. This is our last you, game. You did bad. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. Um, but no, I, I had a very thick Yorkshire accent. So... So, so what is Yorkshire? Um, how can I put it? I'm trying... Have you heard Michael Ironsides? Like, I hate the like stuff. when he's not doing a voice for, say, Harry Potter. Uh, wait, is he not uh, Michael Ironside? I think he's in that. Let me say. Oh, this is weird. Um. Oh no, that's I'm thinking of the wrong guy. That's a Canadian. Yeah, that's what I was like. That does not make any sense. Sorry, let me find the guy that I'm thinking of. Because now I can't remember his name. 
and Alana would kill me for this because he's great. Hmm. Jason Isaacs. Okay, what is he? What did he play? Oh God. <laughs> And actually, even that's not accurate because Jason Isaacs oh, is from I, Liverpool. Okay, I know who you're talking about, though. So. Yeah. I'm trying to find someone who, famous who has a... Have you watched Great British Bake Off at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of people with Yorkshire accents in that. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, here we go. Now, here's just gonna play real quick, though, clip. Tom. Yeah. Is, uh, should I open for my snag? Oh, geez. Um, I mean, at this point, I feel like we kind of have to to stay competitive. We don't attack, but we can block a Sentinel at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, the Sentinel's luminously bonded. Yeah. Okay. So, so do I... I then probably don't do attack that. in... Huh? I was going to say maybe we do attack, but... Hmm. Because he's going to keep attacking with my Falcon. Okay, let's attack and let's just tap down the Seder Enchanter. Yeah. Because we can win a race of six to three or six to four, I think. Mm hmm. Especially if we start playing some guys out. Yeah. Wow. He just played out his hand, eh? Okay, that's not wonderful. That's perfect. We yeah. play out that Gallant Cavalry that is all day. Very good. So, and swing in with the stag again. Yeah. Tap down the. Probably the oracle just to get the, like. Well, yeah. I don't know. That's fine. I don't know if it mattered, but. There it is. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's block the Rocks Oracle and the Leonin Vanguard. Mm hmm Yeah, I think after that we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm not overly afraid after that. Because then next turn I do the Spider. Yep. And then after that the Boar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we do that, and we tap down the Novice I'm... Knight. And then if he blocks with the Seder Enchanters, fine. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a close one. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't have anything yet. Um, that's fine. Play out the Boar and the Swift Claw. And... He's, he's, like... he's top decking, so... Yeah, uh, let's attack with him, and then we tap down the enchant... No, not the spider. We want to keep that back to block mm -hmm. stuff. Tap down one of the enchanters, I think. Well, yeah, because it doesn't matter. Five. Interesting. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's very Do interesting. That. I think we're kind of stabilized, almost. Oh. Well, that's... I think it, di it did what it needed to do. Yeah, he... He cleared the board for us quite a bit. So now I can attack with my boar. And... We leave stuff back to block the enchanters. Right, because he can only attack with... Block with one of them. Yeah. So we just treat this as basically a... A, a kill spell every turn right now. Unless he... Unless he wants to just let them die. Yeah. Or let himself die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This, yeah, this is this is done. He needs he needs something serious. Yeah, and we just we I he, probably could have just gone gone all in right there. Yeah, but at the same time, I get it. Okay, that's fine. We just that's not great that he draws cards though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. We just block with impunity, and then mm -hmm. we swing in with the guy for four, unless he attacks. Even if he doesn't attack, we just attack with everything. Because anything that gets through wins. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Shit. This, this is bad. I should have just full go gone full out. That would have been better. Mm-hmm. Because now... Now we're both top decking. Mm-hmm. I don't... 
Yeah, I don't attack. I don't attack because. It's a blocker. Yep. And that actually does enough to kill his Seder Enchanter with a double block if we need it. Yeah. So, uh, no attackers in the next turn if he doesn't play anything. We. Oh, this is. Oh no! Well, no, I still have the Spooder. Mm-hmm. Dick. <laughs> Could have killed him when I had the chance. Yep. That's why we I'm not punted. on. This is why I'm not on the pro tour. Well, thank you so much, Kagi. Appreciate you uh, sticking in here and. Uh, and appreciate you uh, talking to us. It was a pleasure. I think I'm going to attack. Do we? So, let's see, he has one, two, three, four, five blockers. So he can block everything. Yeah, but, and I don't. But. But if he lets anything through, he's bad. Uh, the problem is if he lets. Or do I. Hold that back till he attacks. And then do some heavy blocks. Yeah. That would be my instinct here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the move. It's frustrating, but... It is. Mm. Oh, Christ. Mm -hmm. He's going to draw all the cards. Okay. I mean, it's still just a three. three I mean, four. I can still block it, but. Yep. This might be uh, this might be his. Oh, well, well fuck yep, my, that's, the... that's game right there. <laughs> he recovered. Yep. I thought we'd stabilize. That was my bad. I should. Well, yeah. More stuff then. Jesus, that is just. That is gross. Mm-hmm. When I played at the pre-release for this set, I had that card and the Gigantosaur. Jesus Christ, my dude. Yeah. Maybe he'll deck himself on accident. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Mm -hmm. He's pretty close. Yep. Come on, just get real greedy. <laughs> just do dumb stuff. Do dumb stuff. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. he's smart. Yep. So oh, well. There blocker there just to play it just to play it good game there it Oof. is there's the run oh well we made it through mm -hmm. we made our stuff back yeah that's true as i said in the last game we fed the kids yep because <laughs> that's totally a thing people say it is now <laughs> well, there well it let's is. claim our prize open our packs and call it a day yep Look at, hey, hey, we got two. We got the bonus. Yeah, we did. I think last time we got a bonus one also. <laughs> hey, hey the Sarkon. Hey, Sarkon. Which I already had to. Which I still don't. I still don't understand since they made the changes, like how that works, like how you have what happens if you have a full set. Yeah. Does it not go to unlocking the vault anymore? Well, there's no like vault progress anymore. It's just oh, they change it to these wild cards, so I don't know what it does. They had that before as well as the thing. This? No? Yeah. No, they had that in the vault at the same time. I don't know. I could have sworn they did. Oh, well. Something to find out, I guess. Yep. There it is. All right. Well, good run, Chris. Yes. Thank you so much. Feel good about it. I'd like to thank the chat. I'd like to thank you, Tom. Uh, I feel like Jesus had something to do with this as well. Absolutely. And uh, I think it's time for me to uh, go to bed. All right. You go and get some sleep. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night, y'all.